So, as you can see, we are currently on the west coast of Ireland. <laughs> there is a beach and sand dunes behind me. Can't quite, I'm not quite that tall enough to uh, actually show them to you yet, but we'll do a quick video of those later. But I thought I'd give you a quick kind of run through of the car camper as it is at the moment. Um, now, bear in mind, it's had three nights so far of me kipping in it. So it's not as Instagrammable as it was when I first left uh, the UK. Um, but it's definitely working and I think we've definitely got there. So without further ado, let's have a quick look at it. So this is my baby. <laughs> um, it's just a normal saloon hatchback Ford Focus. Um, I would love a camper van, but unfortunately they're still rather expensive. So that's going to take a bit of... Uh, that's going to take a bit of saving. <laughs> so in the meantime, we have the car camper. Quick look at it from this side. But as you can see on this side, we've got basically a, a camping uh, side table. <laughs> it's got a removable top on it. Um, but I tend to keep that on because it's quite handy for when I'm kipping in the other side. It's good for like putting the iPad or the battery packs on. Um, and we have in here all the clothes that I'm going to need for the trip so nice and uh, nice and stored away nice and so I don't need to keep getting um, a suitcase out all the time um, to kind of get clothes out it makes it a bit easier <laughs> now around the back <laughs> the camp kitchen um, as it is has had several different reincarnations um, this I think is V4 or V5 <laughs> but I think we're kind of there now so <laughs> It's a basic kind of plywood and hardwood box. <laughs> um, the camp cooker pulls out from here. As you can see, I've had a cup of tea. I've not quite cleaned the uh, mugs up yet. And that allows me to cook in the car. And even if it's raining, it's a bit protected by the boot lid. Um, so I can still cook. Um, I've actually covered it with an old duvet cover. Um, basically gives me a little bit of a place to kind of sneak some stuff and hide some stuff in there if I need to. Um, up here we've got a kind of table that's kind of attached so it stops stuff sliding around um, in transit. Um, underneath here I've got all of my cooking equipment including my Ridge Monkey. Ridge Monkey's just under there. <laughs> and in here I've obviously got fold up kettle. Um, all of my gases and kind of everything I need for my basic cooking <clears throat> and then down the side I've got my uh, plates and stuff as well <laughs> uh, moving over to the bedside so at the moment I've got it set up for kind of cooking and relaxing kind of mode but um, when it comes to night time this table folds down and actually goes in the front seat um, that has dual purpose um, it gets it out of the way so I get the full length of the bed but it also means that if it is tipping down with rain I've got a surface to cook on in the front of the car which I can do with the windows open so I can still do hot food or hot drinks um, even if the weather's um, particularly bad um, which sometimes it is on this trip but I've actually been quite lucky so far so that's all good now taking the table away as you can see, that then gives us the bed on the left-hand side of the car. Now, I have slept in this thing for some time now, and it is really, really comfortable. So, I've got one of the kind of like coverless um, duvet quilts. There's a receipt. Told you I've been living in this. Um, coverless quilts, which should just be easier. Memory foam mattress. Then underneath that, I have a cork yoga mat. And underneath that, I've got the wooden frames that actually level the bed out. Um, obviously, as you can understand, when you put the seats down in the back of the car, it kind of, there's a bit of a, um, there's a bit of a step, which is really uncomfortable to lie on as is. So that has um, been leveled out by using the planks, which are actually pre-made decking boards, <laughs> I found. So I didn't have to make them up, thankfully. Now going around to the other side of the car, just to show a bit of the storage. Um, there's the other side of the uh, bedside cabinet, the camper one. As you can see, I've put in storage boxes as well. So I've got stuff in there like um, all of my tech, my batteries, um, 
uh, some kind of like camping ready meals should I get stuck anywhere cleaning stuff and things like that so that's all in there and it's fairly easy to reach across and get those boxes if I need them <laughs> Now this is the part you can definitely see has been lived in. So moving to the front of the car. Um, on the passenger seat I have um, Halford's uh, 12 volt powered uh, cool box, which is doing a really, really good job of keeping all of my fresh stuff um, nice and cool. I just plug it in as I'm driving um, and then keep it shut. Um, every so often I buy a bag of ice from one of the shops on the way around and that keeps everything nice and cool so i've got stuff like chicken i've got some pork in there and some bits for lunch which i will be cooking later um another thing i found super handy because you know what traveling's like you just kind of like have loads of stuff and don't know where to put stuff i got one of these um car bins from halfords um it is completely kind of like um water resistant on the inside so it means rather than putting rubbish on the seat i can put rubbish in the bin and it's a lot easier to uh, a lot easier to clean out um only other real addition this side is i've got the multi-way um 12 volt charger which also happens to have a fast charge mobile phone uh, usb socket on there as well um and as you can understand mobile phones are needed on this trip <laughs> for maps and uh, entertainment and just keeping in touch with uh, society in general um yeah so that is the car camper <laughs>